Well, it's a great day here because, you know, I always love to have visitors in the studio. It's so nice that people are actually welcome back at this point. Uh, say hi to Kelly and Lisa. They're here from Bark right now. And this little beauty right here is Lucy. So Kelly and Lisa and Bark are part of our new partners with Raven's Pet Pals, brought to you by Pleasant Boss Pet Center in Newtown, where they handle everything. If you need boarding, grooming, medical care, whatever, they really do it all there. And thank you so much for watching the video. So, Tell us a little bit about Bark and what you guys do specifically. Okay, so Bark is, we're a nonprofit organization here in Connecticut, mm -hmm. and we focus on the, basically the rescue, rehabilitation, um, and rehoming of dogs that are in need here in Connecticut. We focus locally because there's so many right here in this state that need our help, just like Lucy. It really is true. It is. I mean, there's so, and I think people don't realize that, that there's, there's plenty. You know, there's so many, and there's not a sort shortage of dogs in need. So we focus local. Um, we uh, we are fo like solely operating on volunteers and donations from the members of the public. So donations will pay for things like um, medical care for mm -hmm. the dogs. We take in a lot of um, we we take in the hard cases. We take in abuse and neglect cases. Um, sometimes dogs that have like extreme medical needs. Sure. That have, surgery and that the owner can't afford it so they have to surrender the dog things like that um so donations help pay for that that those the, the care of those dogs mm. um also boarding if we don't have a foster a place to have to, a home to send the dog to we might have to put them in boarding temporarily donations help pay for that um and they also help for pay for just general medical care like the spay and neuter vaccinations all the dogs that we adopt out are fully vaccinated and spayed and neuter um <laughs> but an another big thing is training so a lot of these dogs have endured trauma in their lives or ab abuse and neglect and they might need behavioral training so that's what a lot of what we do um entails setting them up with the right trainers to get them rehabilitated and prepared to go on to their forever home. You know, uh, one thing I want to give a heads up, uh, Bridgeport does a great job, their animal control, of yeah. partnering up with uh, different organizations that do take on some of these harder cases, because as the largest city in the state, they do see quite a few animals, and yeah. they do have them sometimes coming in in very terrible conditions, like you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Lucy is a, a senior dog, she's healthy, She's happy, she's good with other dogs. She's fostering at your house right now where you have kids running around, you have grandkids too that are out there, you know, getting in the dog space. And she's just a lovable pet, you know? She just wants to, to relax and sit on your lap. She does get a little bit spunky when she goes for walks, as you said, but she's just a beauty, as you can see, a real nice girl. I think she wants to take a nap here. Yeah. Great. She's a real docile, sweet dog. This is her normal nap time. Yeah. Oh, well, perfect, as yeah. you can see. She's getting very comfortable here. Thank you so much for the great work that you guys are doing. Thank you. Uh, we've got the links here provided, so you can go ahead and check out and find out information. Maybe you can volunteer. Maybe you can foster. Maybe you can just donate. Whatever it is that you can do, yeah. it all goes to a great cause. And Lucy, of course, is available for adoption, too. So, you know, see your dog. No potty training, yeah. right? You know right away whether right. or not they fit in with the family. Yeah. Everything is good yeah. that day. I know. It makes it so, there are so many adult dogs. We have a lot of adult dogs. And they really are easy. You know, mm -hmm. they, they there's a lot of the, the puppyhood that you don't have to deal with. That's right. That's um, right. <laughs> and when you adopt from a foster home, you, you know exactly how that dog behaves in a home. That's the benefit. And when you adopt from us, you're also saving another dog because you're offering a wonderful, loving home to the dog that we've rescued, but you're also opening up a new slot in a right. foster home for a dog that's currently in need. I mean, you just want to take a nap on my rug at home. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Click and find out more here, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so thank much, you. guys. For thank coming. you so much thank for you. having us. Thank you.